Kay is probably one of the um, one of the healthiest characters I've ever played. Um, she's someone who is really she knows herself. She likes herself. She likes her life. Um, uh, she likes her relationship. It's flawed, but she loves she she loves her partner. She loves Kenny. It informed the way that we wanted to dress Kay and how Kay would look. You know, we like dyed my hair so that it would seemed more kind of gold and lighter, and um, and dressed me in a lot of golds because we just wanted to keep kind of um, putting out the the you know the the sort of the subliminal message that like it, you already have gold, you have everything you need right right here and right now with that woman, and um, and so I think you know that's. That's who she. That's who she is for him. I mean, I think that was something that that really informed who this woman was to me. You know, her loyalty, her devotion, her um, not blind devotion, but her belief in him. You know, and and simultaneously her acceptance if he doesn't live up to his, you know, his dreams. If he doesn't accomplish all the things that he wants to accomplish, she still loves him. And so it's this, Kay is this incredible person in Kenny's life because she, she loves him truly unconditionally. And therefore I think when, you know, when he really loses himself, you know, in, in pursuit of gold, he, he loses his way, he loses who he is, and he ultimately actually ends up losing the real gold, which is, you know, Kay. A lot of the, the, the kind of the shooting style that, that Stephen Gagan adopted really supported Matthew's process. So it was, um, it was, you know, long takes. We would get really into a scene and lose track of where the camera was. You know, that's something that you really hope for as an actor. Like, that's like, that's what you really aspire for to, to, to be so present and to be so so in a scene that you you forget where the camera is and it's very rare for something like that to happen working with Matthew McConaughey that happens constantly constantly because he's just he he is the world like Matthew would walk into a room and He'd be in costume, and he'd have the teeth in, and, you know, he's shaved his head and everything, and it's like, okay, we're in gold. You know, this is Kenny Wells. We're in the bar. We're in, we're in the field. We're in wherever, but it's real. Yeah, I remember being, being a teenager and kind of, like, seeing him on set, and he's, like, this guy in his 20s, and I was like, oh, my gosh, that man. And, um, and remembering how much my dad loved working with him and just what a cool guy, you know, he is. And, um, and so when I... When I first signed on to do Gold, you know, I, I wasn't, I, I didn't know that Matthew had gone through just this huge physical transformation. And so when I um, got to set, I was sort of expecting, you know, the the Adonis that Matthew McConaughey is, and um, and instead was greeted by Kenny Wells, you know, and 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 it's. It, it's so funny because just Matthew and Kenny as as individuals are completely different. <laughs> They're just completely different people. Um, um, even though Matthew was able to inhabit Kenny so well and so organically, I mean, it's it's just it, it was kind of startling actually to see to see how different Matthew looked and 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 his um, and just even his energy was 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 different during shooting. Kenny and Kay are incredibly complementary, probably because in many ways they're opposites. They have very different values, actually. Um, Kay is is someone who who values her relationships, who values her her job, like the 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 satisfaction she gets out of her job. She works at a bar, she works at a furniture store. She's proud of the work that she does. She loves the people she works with. Um, but you know these are not these are not fancy jobs. Whereas Kenny, on the other hand, he really wants to achieve everything, anything and everything. Kenny is a dreamer. He wants to be rich. He wants to be well known. He wants to be respected. He 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 wants to 
He wants to be, you know, a, a businessman who's working on par with, you know, people on Wall Street. And, um, you know, he's an entrepreneur. I mean, this is somebody who, who basically represents the American dream and, and pursues it without, um, without apologies, you know, and, and, uh, and loses a lot because of that. Um, whereas Kay, you know, she's someone who she loves the person she's with she loves the relationship she has in life um, and she feels genuinely fulfilled as she should so you start this movie and you think it's like you know this kind of incredible character study you know and it's it's you're just watching this guy who you hate and you love just do do everything that he can to make his dreams come true and then his dreams do come true and then everything starts to fall apart. And then you realize really what this story is about. And that's what's incredible about this movie. I mean, you, you see things that you would never have expected. And this story goes on twists and turns that are absolutely wild. The thing that I love most about Gold is that really for me, the film is a love story. Now the movie is not. <laughs> I don't. I don't want anyone to go in there thinking that they're about to see some me cute thing. You know, it's not. It, it, it's not a romantic comedy. But um, but the 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 romance between Kay and Kenny is just. It's so beautiful because it's so real, and it's you know in movies you see you see a lot of love stories of people falling in love. You know what it takes for two people to come together, but. You don't always see stories about what it takes for two people to stay together. Stephen Gagan, our director, is such a brilliant individual. He's obviously he's a, he's an extraordinary filmmaker, but he's and, and I, I would hope a lot of people know this. I mean, he's he's truly one of the best writers in the business. Um, and to have one of the, the one of the greatest screenplay writers um, in Hollywood on set all the time, it's 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 so exhilarating because in every single moment, you if something's not quite working, you know you don't need to just figure out the line as written. You can you can you know I was always able to go to Stephen and say. Listen, dude, I know you're our director, but like tell me what to do, tell me what to say, and we'll just do whatever whatever it takes to to um to make this scene feel really really real.